Hi, I'm Manville Smith. Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our Clean Sweep product line and how it can help you achieve excellent results when needing to do an OEM integration in a vehicle. Before uh, talking about what the product does and how it does it, I want to explain a couple of fundamental terms that are important in order to kind of figure out what it's doing for you when you apply it in a system. The first thing we need to talk about is frequency response and what it means and uh, how it, why it matters to what we're doing in, uh, in OEM integration. Most of you have probably seen a piece of equipment like this right here, which is called a real-time analyzer or a spectrum analyzer. The purpose of an RTA is to visually represent the relative energy of audio in different frequencies that are audible to our human hearing system. On a typical RTA like this one, uh, the lowest frequencies we can hear are at the very far left, and the highest frequencies we can hear are at the very far right. And this particular one has 30 bands of resolution, as most do that we work with in car audio. So when we see a flat line in response, like we're seeing on this display at the moment, what it's telling us is that Assuming the signal that's feeding it is flat, meaning the signal has equal content in all frequencies, that the response of that signal remains flat through all the electronics that we're putting it through. If this curve were to vary from there, that is referred to as a frequency response deviation, and that can be achieved electrically using equalization, for example, or different kinds of filters. Now, when we use an aftermarket head unit, which we're all really accustomed to using, we always start with a flat frequency response. When we set the bass and treble flat on that head unit, the signal we're getting out of that head unit when we apply our test material to it is a perfectly flat response. From there, we do things in the system to season the response to what we want to hear in the car. We may lift the bass a little bit, brighten up the tweeters, maybe with a passive crossover, maybe with a tone control. But we always want to start with a flat frequency response. That is the purpose of a source unit, really, to provide that flat starting point. If we have any variation in that, it will affect the way our speakers sound in the car. Many of you are accustomed to seeing RTAs used in in auto sound competition, sometimes just as an SPL meter or sometimes used to judge what they refer to as RTA in sound quality competitions. When used for that purpose, what they're actually wanting to measure is the acoustic response of the system. And you'll see a microphone plugged into the RTA in those applications. That is not what we're measuring here. What we're using here is the line level input of the RTA. So all we're looking at is the frequency content of the electrical signal coming out of the source unit. We're not interested in the acoustic response of the car. The acoustic response is going to vary from this depending on your speakers and locations and your gains and your EQ settings after the fact, etc. So we're really just looking at the starting frequency response of the signal that we're working with in the system. That's the purpose of this tool used in this application. We're not interested in the microphone. The microphone stays in the bag and is not used. There are a number of good RTAs on the market. This is, uh, this is one that we, we like a lot. It's not the least expensive out there, but it's very rugged and very good. You can also get software-based solutions that you can use on your PC if you have a PC. But as we'll discover as we go through this training, you'll see that this tool is incredibly important. And uh, really, every installation shop that is serious about OEM integration needs to have this tool in the shop.